Hey guys, it's Cece, and it's time for another edition of If You Like That, Try This. If You Like That, Try This is a series that I do, and every month I have a new sort of random topic, and based on that topic, I recommend books to you. My last topic, and actually the first one I ever did, it was the Disney Princess Edition, and I got so much good feedback from that video and you guys really seem to love it so thank you so much for enjoying that video I had a ton of fun making it and today I'm going to be doing and if you like that try this music edition I absolutely love music I'm possibly a little obsessed with music and these songs are gonna be a little bit all over the place genre-wise, but I tried to pick songs that really reflected not only the story of the book, but also the tone. That applies to some of these choices, maybe not others. But I do have six fabulous books to recommend to you based on six fabulous pieces of music. I would recommend each of these bits of music just as highly as I recommend the book, so if you haven't heard of music, go check that out as well. Anyway, let's just get started. The first song that I wanna talk about is Wake Up by Arcade Fire. I don't really know how to talk about the reasons why I chose this song because I just feel like this song really has the vibe of the book I'm going to recommend. I guess it doesn't really work until I show you the book I'm talking about. If you really, really love the song Wake Up by Arcade Fire, I highly recommend A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. The song Wake Up is a beautiful song and it has a lot of really beautiful things to say about adulthood and growing up and that is definitely present in A Monster Calls. This book is definitely about growing up and about facing things that you don't really want to face and it is absolutely beautiful. And to be honest with you, I think that the general like mood and tone of the song really fits with this book as well. It's something that I could see myself listening to while I was reading this book. I know not everyone listens to music while they read books. Sometimes I don't and sometimes I do. But I just feel like the vibe of this song is really really present in this book as well. And overall, I just think that they're a really great pair. The next song that I want to mention is New Soul by Yael Naim. The tone of the song does not fit the tone of the book that I chose for it at all, but I've always thought that the lyrics really like reflected this book and I've always just kind of connected the two in my head. And the book that I'm talking about right now is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I feel like I don't mention this book super often on my channel, but I am a huge fan of it in case you didn't know. But I've always felt like the journey of Wanda in this book is reflected by some of the lyrics in this song. The first line of the song is I'm a new soul in a very strange world, which is just, that's, that's kind of like the book. That's like the thing. So yes, the song does not really reflect the tone of this book. It's not like happy-go-lucky or anything like that. It's kind of an intense chunker of an adventure story and it's not happy very often, but I just feel like the lyrics are very reflective of the story of the main character in this and of the world overall. Next up is a song that you've possibly not heard, but I always feel the need to share it with everybody, and that is a song called Maneater by Blue Eyed Blondes. I would say that the song comes with a warning for language. That's the only one, but thought I'd mention it. It's important to mention. The song is basically a story about this woman who comes into this guy's shop and basically tells him the story of how she killed a man, and it's wonderful, and I listen to it all the time, and it just... It's just a fabulous song, and if you really love this song, you should definitely read Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I have listened to a lot of Gone Girl themed playlists on 8-tracks, and it has always infuriated me that this song is not present on any of those playlists. If you love Gone Girl, I highly recommend that you go check out Man Eater because you will see the connection between the two, and both just give me that same feeling that, like, Yes, kind of feeling. Don't get me wrong, like, this book totally freaks me out too, but at the same time, there's there's at least a little bit of me being like, Ugh! and now I just kind of want to sit here and listen to Maneater instead of talking about it anymore, because gosh, I love that song. The next song that I'm going to talk about and that you can already hear playing over the top is Love by American Authors. Honestly, I picked the book out and then just tried to find a song that fit it, and it's, uh, I did the opposite on all the others. I found the song first and then I found a book that fit. But the book that I want to recommend based on this song is A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. You may have heard of Alex Flynn's other book, Beastly. I think that that one's more popular, but there are actually quite a few other books that she's done that are retellings. A Kiss 
Kiss in Time is a modern retelling of Sleeping Beauty, and it is adorable. I knew I wanted to find a really happy love song to represent this book and this story because it's so sweet, and the romance is adorable, and I just think that they fit together so, so well. The next song that I want to bring up is This Is War by 30 Seconds to Mars. You may know this song from every single excellent fan video from any given fandom ever. Alright, that's not totally accurate, but this is a, a great song to use in fan videos for fandoms, and every time I watch a fan video with this song, I just get like all psyched up again. I think that when you're talking about this song, you need to have a book with a lot of characters and the idea of some kind of huge conflict. To be honest with you, I most often think of Supernatural when I hear this song because I can assign a character for each of the different, like, types of people that are going into this war. I try to restrain myself, but that's always what pops into my head. But the book that I think you should read if you really love this song is The Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. Yes, I realize this is my second Patrick Ness book in one video. No, I did not realize that until I was already into filming it. I just love Patrick Ness, I'm sorry. But the Chaos Walking trilogy, beginning with The Knife of Never Letting Go, is a fantastic trilogy. It just follows a greater and greater conflict with each coming book. The characters are fascinating, they are interesting, and they are so, so complex, and I just feel like this song is really reflective of this story and the vibe of the conflict that you're getting and the general characters that you're going to be seeing. You know, I've actually listened to a bunch of Knife of Never Letting Go playlists as well, I'd have never heard this song on there, and now that's kind of upsetting me again. And the last song-book combo that I'm going to include begins with the song Like Real People Do by Hozier. This is one of those songs that's so incredibly romantic to me. It could have begun with the fact that the first time I heard it was uh, on So You Think You Could Dance and these two people did this absolutely incredible dance number and it like changed my life a little bit and ever since then they're just there is no song to me that can beat how sweet and wonderful the song is and the build it's just beautiful anyway talking too much about the song if you really really love this song then i highly recommend that you check out everything leads to you by nina lacour this is an incredibly romantic book i just i associate the two with one another now that i've read this book because of that dance from so you think you can dance i always associate the song with a build to a first kiss and there's this moment where it hits and in the in the dance they kiss and like everything is beautiful and everything changes and that's just so reminds me of the way the romance went in everything leads to you that it's just a beautiful combination i just love it so much i don't know how else to talk about this it's beautiful their relationship is beautiful the song is beautiful Love is beautiful, guys. Okay, guys, there you go. That was my, if you like that, try this music edition recommendations video. And hey, a couple of freebies. If you really like the song, Everybody Wants to Be an Astronaut by Royal Republic, I highly recommend that you read The Martian by Andy Weir. And if you're a huge fan of Things We Lost in the Fire by Bastille, I mean, a series of unfortunate events is just waiting for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this edition of If You Like That, Try This. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!